Welcome to Radware's Defense Pro DNS Protection Demo. In this demo, we will show how Defense Pro protects organizations from the Mirai botnet attacks, specifically Mirai's DNS attack vector, known as the DNS water torture attack. The demo is divided into three parts. In the first part, we will run the Mirai attack without activating Defense Pro's DNS protection. In the second part of the demo, we will turn on the DNS protection in Defense Pro and let it learn the normal DNS traffic and build a baseline. Finally, in the third part of the demo, we will run the Mirai attack again and see the accurate detection and mitigation done by Defense Pro. In this demo, we simulated an enterprise data center with a DNS server and a web server. We also simulated a legitimate DNS client and a Mirai bot. The domain name used in this demo is example.com with several subdomains, including www, mail, and maps. Throughout the entire demo, we run continuous legitimate DNS traffic to simulate real-world DNS servers. We use JMeter to examine the queries per second rate of the DNS server. We can see in this screen that the queries per second rate is currently stable around 15. Now we will run the Mirai DNS water torture attack on the DNS server. For this purpose, we created a Mirai bot that communicates with Mirai's command and control server. The Mirai bot runs the command with the IP of the DNS server, the duration of attack, and the target domain. As you can see, the target domain is example.com and the attack duration is 5 minutes. We can clearly see degradation in the DNS server's responsiveness. From the normal rate of 15 queries per second to around 2 queries per second during the attack. Now we will turn on the DNS protection in Defense Pro and let it learn the normal DNS traffic and build a baseline. First, we define a policy on the Defense Pro with the DNS server's parameters. The policy contains network settings including IP and port of the protected server and a DNS profile. The DNS profile contains the characteristics of the DNS server's capacity in queries per second. The policy automatically learns the legitimate DNS traffic towards the protected DNS server. Defense Pro analyzes and correlates between various DNS statistics, including normal queries per second rate, query type distribution, and query names distribution. Defense Pro's DNS protection is purely stateless, relying only on the incoming DNS queries without needing to wait on the DNS responses. Here we can see an example of the subdomain's whitelist. The subdomain's whitelist is the list of legitimate DNS query names as learned by Defense Pro in this demo. We can see all the subdomains of example.com along with other legitimate traffic we run in the environment to simulate a multi-domain DNS environment. Now, if we go to the security monitoring view, we can see a report of the top 10 queried domain names. This report shows the top 10 queried domain names for every DNS policy in several time intervals. By clicking a domain name in the report, we can see its change trend within the chosen time interval. Defense Pro collects various DNS traffic characteristics and analyzes them to build a normal baseline. In this screen, we can see that the baseline truly represents the real-time traffic. Using this adaptive baseline, Defense Pro derives thresholds for attack detection. These are the suspect and attack edges shown in this screen. This screen shows the latest statistics collected by Defense Pro, including rate-based and rate-invariant statistics. We can also see here the randomization level in the query names that can be an indication for suspicious activity. The gauge graphically shows the current degree of attack, which, in this case, is normal, meaning no attack is taking place. The traffic utilization report shows the queries per second rate towards the protected DNS server. We can see a stable rate of the normal traffic. Now we will use the Mirai DNS water torture attack with Defense Pro's DNS protection. We use the same Mirai bot to run the DNS attack on the same target domain, example.com. In a matter of seconds, Defense Pro alerts on a DNS flood. The alert is shown on the security monitoring dashboard. 
By double-clicking, we can see the full attack details. In the Attack Details view, we can see attack characteristics, attack state, and the calculated footprint. The footprint is an automatic real-time signature that can identify the pattern of a DDoS attack based on Layer 3 to Layer 7 parameters. The footprint is calculated automatically, without any user intervention. In the case of the Mirai DNS water torture attack, or other random subdomains attack vectors, Defense Pro, using the real-time signature technology, was able to automatically identify the target domain under attack. As we can see in the footprint in this demo, Defense Pro identified the target domain as example.com. In the Attack Details screen, we can also view the subdomain's whitelist, which is the list of the good subdomains that belong to the target domain. During attack mitigation, Defense Pro uses a positive security model that mitigates all the bad subdomains and allows only the good subdomains of the target domain. We can see that the attack is still ongoing as shown in the current attack view screen. If we go to the latest statistics screen, we can also see a clear indication of the ongoing attack state. In the traffic utilization graph, we see the traffic processed by Defense Pro. The blue line shows the inbound traffic, and the red line shows the amount of drop traffic. We can see that Defense Pro automatically started mitigation in a matter of seconds. We can also see that the mitigation is highly accurate, allowing only the small amount of legitimate traffic while blocking all the attack traffic. When the attack ends, we can see a clear indication in the current attacks view. The state changes from ongoing to terminated. Finally. If we re-examine the graph that tracks the DNS server's performance in JMeter, we can clearly see the impact of the Mirai attack on the DNS server with and without Defense Pro's protection. As we saw earlier, without Defense Pro, there was a significant degradation in the queries per second rate. When we activate Defense Pro's DNS protection, we see a very minor decrease in queries per second rate throughout the entire attack. In this demo, we demonstrated how Defense Pro's DNS DDoS protection is able to detect and accurately mitigate Mirai's DNS water torture attack by leveraging a unique, first-in-class behavioral-based DNS algorithm based on a positive security module. Defense Pro can protect from known and unknown DNS flood attacks in the most cost-effective way. Radware's Defense Pro is uniquely built with IoT botnet protection to overcome both the complexity and scale of today's sophisticated IoT-based attacks. For more details, please visit radware.com. Thank you for watching this video.